Hey, welcome back to Lamb Chop Builds. We're going to have a little stash update from uh, the weekend here. Hit up a swap meet and uh, the Hobby Lobby. Got a couple cool kits. Didn't spend too much on them, so it's always a good thing. But first, I got a shout out to uh, Joe over at the model building corner. Sent me a, a shop card. Appreciate it, Joe. Thanks. Thanks for the words on the back, too. Really appreciate that. It's going to be kind of a quick one here. I'm going to review quick. Try and get me a little bench time in this evening. As you guys can see here, I put down a black poster board to help. My desk area, you might say. It looks like it attracts the, any little bit of dirt. So I may need to go to a different color later. So first up, I already have this kit. I wanted to get another one. It was sealed. Very, very good price on this. So, you know, now I got two of them. One to build and one to hold on to if I want to build another one later. 69 uh, Nova Yenko. Kind of cool to have that. Wasn't a bad uh, deal on that one. That was at the swap meet. Then uh, I got this one here, a 32 Ford High Boy street rod. As you can see, let me pull this down here. I built that kit when it was the uh, good in the, the newer box, the 2006 box, I believe it was. 2006 release. I've, I've done a good job on the, on on this kit. But I want to redo it. I want to make it better. And I saw that at a, a very good price. So I figured, why not get it? You know? Made a bargain for it. And I kind of like the wheels on it. Even. So this may get, you know, this one here I may take apart and use it for parts later. Do something with it when I build this one. That'll be a while down the road, I believe. The score I picked up at Hobby Lobby on their 40% off sale is 34 Ford pickup. I don't think I've seen this kit in there maybe one time. I was at a different Hobby Lobby that I normally go to, and they had this. I was like, eh. You know, I looked around at different things. I was going to get a Nova. The 66 Nova again, just have it for uh, the, the chassis and stuff for it. But I decided to, to get this because you know it's you can build it multiple ways a service truck with the, a wrecker on it. You know, there's a toolbox with it, what it says, an engine stand and an extra engine. It's all chromed out. You know, some diorama pieces. You know, this will be a while before I build this, though. There's other stuff I want to get done. Before I get to this one, but it's kind of cool, cool little kit. You know, I sat there probably 20 minutes looking. Which one do I want to get? You, know, you get all these uh, two interior interior seats for it, a little toolbox right here, the wrecker. You know, the, the the regular engine, the chrome engine, the air horns, different headlights, all kinds of wheels and tires for it. You, know, you got the spoke. Uh, the spoked wheels to build it stock, some white walls, different rims for it. So it'd be kind of a cool cool get to, uh, get to one of these days. And then I have one last piece I picked up. It was uh, after getting it and looking at what they go for on uh, different places. This is why I'm going to hold on to this. It will get built eventually. I don't buy them to not build them. I buy boxes of kits to, to build. So I'm, uh, I just want to have my kind of goal over time is to buy kits to, to work on later. When I retire, I'll have a bunch because money will be different then. I'll be limited income, but I'll have all the, the hobby and stuff I need. So I picked this up the Duesenberg Model SJ Wayman Torpedo Phaeton. Complete kit. Wasn't sealed. I'm sure if it's sealed, it'd been a lot more. A lot, lot more. 
but even in an open condition, you know, structures, it's a 1963 release, you know, so it's a, a cool, cool, cool kit. You know, I could probably build, I think it's part of the Museum Classics, they're doing the model car videos group build, but this thing's very clean. The, I'm going to mail this in, try and get that catalog there's offering. All I got to do is send uh, 25 cents to cover posters and I'll get a fully illustrated catalog. So I'm going to mail it and see what happens. That's kind of, I didn't open this in yet. There's all kinds of cool little stuff in here. I know a lot of stuff's getting re released. You know, I can get the Midget Racer for uh, 98 cents. Black Widow uh, Ford T pickup for a buck forty nine. Get one to get it motorized for two forty nine. So you can buy these model kits and they came with a motor in them, like the pull action type thing. I would believe and it's kind of a big deuce of by monogram hobby catalog. It's kind of neat, you know, for a an old kit. This thing's in very good condition for being opened, even. The guy said he'd had two of them, sold one last weekend, and I bought this one. You know, someone's went through and packaged everything up nice in little Ziploc bags. So, to protect stuff. I'm going to have a hard time figuring out what color to paint this thing. But nonetheless, it'll get paint. It'll get built. Might be a little while. It won't be. Maybe not this year. You know, there's some stuff I want to learn to do before I put this one together. Oh, I wasn't wanting to close on me there. I think this box art's kind of neat too. I seen one for with the, it still had cellophane over the, the top of it. I know what people's asking and what they get it's different things. It was on eBay for over a hundred bucks. I'm like, man, that's a expensive model there to get it for what I paid for it opened. I'll take that all day. That was easy. What else do I got to cover? I picked up some. Uh, let me grab it here. I was at the Hobby Lobby yesterday. Some Mr. White Putty. I'm going to try that stuff out. Shouldn't be too bad. Always adding a couple little tools here and there. I was going to pick up a can of Matt Clear today. Didn't make it. Didn't get out much. To spray over the chrome to dull it a little bit. I'll get that in a couple days. Next time I'm out, out shopping, I guess. But again, I want to thank Joe over at Model Building Corner. If you guys haven't uh, watched his videos, be sure to check them out. It's a good channel to watch. I'll I'll, I'll link him in the uh, description down there, uh, so you guys can uh, easily click on him and uh, find him. With that, happy modeling. See you next time.